Hey YouTube, Love and Light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a um, energy check-in for the sign of Pisces. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs this. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join the spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space and we can go ahead and get started. So, hey, Pisces, how y'all doing? I hope y'all week is starting out well. Hope y'all had a good, safe weekend. Um, joyous holidays. So, um, everything is well in the Empire. Thank y'all so much for supporting. I really appreciate all of your love, support, your views, comments, likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's go ahead and get this energy cleared off and we can go ahead and get it popping. Let's go, let's go. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my Pisces today. Anything that is of you, light and love, anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. Um, and I also ask that you protect my Pisces as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are not a Pisces and you are viewing this video, there is a message for you. Everybody is welcome here. So let's go ahead and get it started. What's going on in y'all energy, Pisces? What's going on? What is going on? Let's see what y'all week is looking like. I think um, a few people going to get some extra readings this week, but that's okay. Yeah, let's see what's going on, Pisces. What's going on in your energy? I already put you up with the car, so I'm only going to shuffle a few times. What's going on with my Pisces spirit? What's going on with my Pisces? Okay, so I'm popping right out here, Pisces. What's going on? So we got celebration. Oh, somebody's celebrating. Attend a party. Somebody's being a little bit more social than they usually are um attended party social events um uh, something happened that gave you a positive outcome um i feel like you attending a lot of group events yeah i feel like um yeah you're doing a lot of socializing networking hmm uh oh that's too far up yeah doing a lot of socializing mm -hmm. celebrating yourself focusing on yourself focusing on your um um something that could have been a positive outcome for you some so you celebrating some of them could be celebrating anniversaries birthdays holidays obviously the holidays is here so could be out socializing a little bit more um, but i feel like you pouring into yourself loving on yourself you know um leveling up i feel like maybe you celebrating um maybe a new business some of you um i feel like okay there was an ending that was here um, but I see you focus on new beginnings. So there was um, an in inevitable ending to something. So you might be in separation from someone and pouring into yourself, going out and, and socializing more. Um, this could be to keep your mind focused on positive things and not the negative. I feel like you're going through a, a, a transformation. Um, and I feel like it was some shedding required. So you had to cut off some things that's no longer serving you. Um, things maybe you had to cut off a, a dead end relationship. But I feel like you're healing through that and focus on loving yourself. Okay. Yeah, I ain't mad at you. Shoot. Yeah. So uh, I feel like somebody might want to renew it with you because they see you out here partying, happy, you know, living life. You know. Hmm. So somebody might be wanting to, so that you had to cut off, might be wanting to renew it with you. Hmm. The dice. Okay. So somebody want to take a risk. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, and you might be taking some new risks, maybe uh, going towards some, you know, setting some new goals for you, taking some risks in, in business or your career. I feel like you're getting out of your comfort zone. I feel like, you know, this celebrating yourself is not something you did in the past, not pouring into yourself, but I feel like you're getting out of that comfort zone, tapping into your north node. Um, you're taking a leap of faith into the un unknown. You know, you want some new adventure in your life. Okay, well, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it, Pisces. You're waiting on a new adventure and you're taking some risk. Hmm, okay, and renewal. There it is, a renewal. So somebody um, that you had a passionate connection with, um might want to renew with you 
Um, it says leaving old flames and embrace the new. Yeah. And you're releasing a uh, release of energy and emotion. So I feel like your energy is very high vibrational at this time. And you putting a lot of passion in to this new um, start, this new beginning. Um, I feel like you had a very powerful uh, transformation, inner transformation. And you're just leveling up. You're feeling good. You're very energetic, very high vibrational. And people are seeing that. You know, like I said, you cutting off anything that's no longer serving you and you stepping in, you stepping out, you know, um, embracing this positive change and, and looking for some new adventures. Okay. Well, yeah. So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, you're putting a lot of passion and determination and drive into it. And I feel like this is going to bring you uh wish fulfillment, um, uh, whether that be, um, uh, emotional fulfillment as well as, uh, material fulfillment. So I feel like you got a lot of success enjoy coming into your life mm, okay so you just out here rolling the dice okay i feel it i feel it pisces yes okay so i see that you know you you know stepping out into the unknown so some of you are traveling you know more long distance taking some girl trips guy trips doing a lot of group events yeah you on a new adventure yeah, I feel like you're on a journey to the next level. I feel like you're leveling up your finances. Like I said, I see some success and wealth and um, happiness coming towards you. Hmm. And so you just uh, living in the moment. You know, you living, you in the flow. So you could be, like I said, traveling a lot more, planning vacations. Yeah. Yeah, embracing these positive changes. Let me see what's going on, Pisces. I like it. This is some good energy here. Yeah, you're very passionate about it, too. You know, you're open to meeting new people. Yeah. Mm. Trail, trial and error, sorry. Trial and error. So I feel like you just, like I said, leaping into the unknown. You're experimenting, trying new things. Maybe you wasn't as outgoing in your past, but I feel like you have um, embraced this, um, like I said, this new transformation. You're being more outgoing, allowing yourself to open up to new people. So maybe you was, uh, maybe a homebody didn't get out a lot, but I feel like, um, you know, you could be also uh, making a change. Some of you could be making a change in your career. Um, focusing on trial and error in, in, in your new role, you know, trying to, trying to grasp the new concept or something. I feel like you might've been trying something else, you know, maybe you went down a different path. And so you're learning, um, about your new role. And I feel like you're just opening up to, and being willing to try new things. You are exploring all possibilities, trying to find what your life purpose is. So maybe you was unfulfilled at a job before. Uh, maybe you could be uh, accepting a position that will allow, that's going to allow you to travel for work. Some of you could be um, pilots. Some of you could be, um, what do you call those people? That uh, flight attendants. You know, somebody could be working at an airline in, in, in another capacity. So I feel like that you are uh, maybe stepping into the unknown, taking those little, um, what is it, buddy pass trips where you can jump on the flight and go anywhere you want to go. So this could be some of y'all traveling. Um, somebody, somebody could be um, uh, seeing someone new that lives at a distance from you. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're exploring all your possibilities. I feel like you got a lot of options here in life. And you're celebrating yourself and these new new um, adventures. Okay. Yeah. You know, I feel like you maybe made some mistakes along the way. But, you know, life is all about growing and growth. I feel like you are embracing growth and expansion here. I think it's good. It's all good, Pisces. This is some good, good energy. Mm, okay, I like it. Let's see. Okay, the wheel, uh-huh. So whatever happened, you know, this ending, this transformation, this was fated to happen. Maybe you weren't in the highest version of yourself. And so, you know, a tower had to help ha happen for you to em embrace uh, this new change or just go through this transformation to, to recognize you, you this awakening, you know? Hmm. Or it was fate and destiny for you to walk away from somebody that was keeping you stagnant, keeping you isolated from, you know, doing anything. So you could have been with somebody who was very controlling. Um, maybe you was an introvert 
or maybe you just focus on this relationship and wasn't doing anything for that, you know, brought fulfillment to yourself. But I feel like um, the will is turning in your favor. I feel like you are achieving, you're going to achieve great things. And I feel like whatever it is you're working on, these big changes that are coming, um, I feel like it's going to all work out in your favor. And I feel like you're really embracing that too. I feel like, you know, at some point um, there was a hot mess here. We got the hot mess. <laughs> so maybe it was a hot mess. Maybe you was healing from something, uh, ending um, but it was an inevitable end. So there was a major change in your life. So maybe, um, you was living with somebody and no longer and had to separate and, and move could have been moving to another a state, another country. Some of you, I feel like, um, someone around you has some very disorderly habits. Somebody could have been very chaotic, um, very messy. I, f I feel like this person had you feeling very miserable and unhappy. So you could have been a very, um, very toxic energy. Or you could have been in a very toxic state of mind or a lack state of mind. You're, you are your, uh, someone you was dealing with. So I feel like um, it was a lot of chaos and conflict in your life. Um, somebody could have been very irresponsible that kept you from being able to um, enjoy the fruits of your labor. So maybe you were supporting somebody that was a damn hot mess. Mm. <laughs> Some of you that was very disorderly, very messy. And this person just kept you being miserable. Yeah, here go isolation on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you was very isolated. Um, you was very emotionally removed because maybe you was embarrassed about your situation. And you just, you know, choosing to be alone. So you didn't have to explain to people what was going on or, you know, have people all up in your business. But I feel like you took some time to rest and recuperate and contemplate. You did some introspection, some soul searching. And whatever this is, it came to an end. So I feel like you might've cut somebody off or, you know, it was just an inevitable end. Like something happened. Hmm. What happened? We're going to find out something happened. Cause you know, I feel like, you know, you could have been dealing with somebody who has some addictions, could be a smoking addiction, could be drugs, alcohol. Cause this person is sitting with a, a glass, uh, a glass half empty with a makeup all over their face. Somebody who was very emotionally unstable. Somebody could have been, you know, had some mental health issues. Who knows? Yeah. It was a lot of chaos here. Mm hmm. You know, you experienced a lot of difficult, um, difficulty, a lot of obstacles, I feel like whatever this was had you burdened, heavily burdened. You felt like it was a lot of weight on your shoulders. I feel like you was just stressed out, very burnt out in the situation you were in. Mm, so it was a lot of things that happened that was very unpredictable that took you off, uh, took you by surprise. You know, and again, it could be somebody that had uh, you had a clash of ego with. So I feel like this is a relationship that you got out of. For most of you, or this is you just in, in, in embracing uh, transformation in yourself, getting in touch with your shadow side. Some of you could be doing some shadow work, releasing some old toxic behaviors, or you just releasing a toxic energy from your life. So I feel like there was a um, uh, mm, some unpredictable events that occurred in your life. Like I said, um, some burdens that was testing your strength. So you, I feel like you had a lot of ups and downs, but I feel like, you know, you having a breakthrough right now, Pisces. Let's see. Mm. And soulmates is here. So this could have been somebody you was dealing with that you thought was your soulmate, or you could be calling in a soulmate. So for you to call in that soulmate, something toxic may have had that, that had to end for you to, 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 uh, call in this new beginning. Hmm. So I feel like you seeking a harmonious partnership because maybe this person, like I said, was a hot mess and this was fated to happen. You know, uh, so this could be soul ties as far as family. It could be friends, um, um, romantic partners, you know, but I feel like you are releasing anything out of your life that's no longer serving. It's not helping you to grow. You know, I feel like um, you focus on your growth and expansion. And you are calling in those people, um, energies around you that are going to help you do so. I feel like uh, maybe whatever this transformation was, was a catalyst to your growth process. So, yeah, are you growing or cutting out some toxic um, toxicity from your life? You know, 
Mm. So maybe you were in a karmic connection with some, some someone, some of you. Um, but it, I feel like it was a lot of chaos and conflict around you, whether that be, like I said, family, friends, jobs, um, romantic interests, or what have you. But let's see what the tarot say. Let's see. Tell me about this. Okay. Five of Cups. Okay, so something had you feeling, um, you know, uh, you, it looks like you something, somebody disappointed you. And this could have been a breakup, but it's definitely some type of unwelcome change that occurred in your life that had you in this Five of Cups energy, feeling grief, sorrow, loss, and despair. Somebody broke your heart, possibly, for some of you. Some of you could have lost a job that kept you, um, you know, uh, stressed out and feeling overwhelmed. Maybe not being able to uh, manage your finances. Hmm. So I feel like whatever this was was so painful that it kept you in isolation. And it was, uh, or maybe somebody walked away from you. Maybe there was a breakup, you know, because of this toxic person. I feel like at some point you was kind of a hot mess. <laughs> or this person was a hot mess. Hmm. But I feel like somebody definitely let you down. Hmm. In a connection. And I feel like you was very, um, this, this was a, a lot for you to, to, to bear. Okay. So seven of swords. So somebody around you was in the seven of swords energy. Yeah. So this was a relationship. I feel like for, for most of you, I feel like somebody around you was scheming, lying, cheating, maybe stealing, stealing your money could be, you know, kept you from being able to do the things you enjoy doing. Somebody could have been sneaky. Somebody um, irresponsible, you know, avoiding responsibility. Somebody could have backstabbed you. A friend could have backstabbed you or a lover could have backstabbed you. Somebody at work could have backstabbed you. I feel like whoever this person was, was an opportunist. An opportunist. So somebody was using you possibly for your finances. Somebody wearing a facade. Yeah, taking advantage of you, taking, it, taking you for granted. And I feel like... Um, possibly the 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 universe stepped in yeah so somebody could have been stealing your money because i see ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so this could have been involving a marriage a family and somebody seeing you as very um in this tentacle ten of pentacles energy very wealthy stable hmm maybe you received a uh a windfall of money and was building an empire for yourself could be um creating a, a new business for yourself after this so maybe you stepping out into the unknown and trying to to level up financially but i see you taking a lot of risk here tell me about this dice but i definitely see somebody in your energy was very sneaky in that seven of swords energy okay let's see the tower yeah it was a tower so it was a major upheaval here you know unexpected change in your finances could be and I think this took you by surprise. I feel like some somebody was, you know, maybe using you for your money or maybe took your money or, or was stealing your money. A con artist, somebody was a shapeshifter, you know. But it was definitely a breakup here. But I feel like you, this was an awakening for you, you know. I feel like you may have found something out about this person that was um, took you by surprise. Maybe this person um, that she was dealing with um, left you uh, very uncertain about the connection. You know, maybe non-committal, very emotionally disconnected. This person could have even been emotionally or mentally abusive. Also, could be physical for some of you. Yeah, but I feel like this person had you very stressed out and, and overwhelmed in this hot mess energy, right? Hmm. Oh, wow. There's a lot of chaos here, you know. A lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like, okay. All right. So, I feel like um, you went through a powerful transformation. And this could be, like I said, with a family, like, you know, the two of cups, somebody you felt like was your soulmate. And somebody you could have been in a marriage with. Okay. So, I feel like, um, mm. I feel like this renewal is going to bring in a new soulmate because we have the soulmates here. You know, I feel like uh, you are seeking a more harmonious partnership. And I feel like you um, 
this tower occurred for you to be able to to release something that was not serving that your highest good for you to go seek out your ten of cups i see you are going to be um emotionally fulfilled um you could be receiving a marriage proposal but i feel like um you know the will is turning in your favor with this good fortune and it says good fortune you're going to be blessed with a new uh, a new connection a new relationship something that's more secure and stable you know something's very successful hmm and this is going to be a partner that's going to uh it's going to be a mutual attraction you're going to be you know immediately connected to this person and whatever this connection is, it's going to lead you to um, lead you to a ten of cups. And I feel like somebody else wants a renewal with you, but I would feel uh, I would be use my um, intuition in that situation. So um, somebody could be in, um, engaging in a love affair with someone else. Um, this person could come back, may have done some shadow work. Because maybe they feeling regret, sorrow, and loss about the ending of this connection. But I feel like whatever it is, this person was definitely in this seven, swor seven of swords energy. But I feel like they see you um, as their ten of cups. You emotionally fulfill them. But I don't feel like you was emotionally filled in this connection. You know, I feel like this person was a hot mess and kept up a lot of, um, um, a lot of um, chaos and conflict. Because they was in this seven of swords energy. But I feel like this person sees you as their soulmate and wants this renewal with you. So I feel like this person may be going through a transformation so they can come towards you. And again, this could be somebody that lives at a distance from you. You know, somebody wants to set out on a new adventure with you. You know, mm, mm. but again, I would just be very cautious that this person has done the inner work. Mm, 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 mm. But I feel like you calling in whoever your soulmate is. And maybe you was a catalyst of this person's uh, transformation. Because I see the strength card here. So I feel like you had a lot of courage um, to and confidence to move away. Um, I feel like uh, you went through a lot with this person. I feel like this person maybe had a wild side, of course, in this Seven of Swords. And um, you you are somebody who tamed a beast in this person. You know, this person see you as very strong and very powerful. Or this person maybe want to, uh, maybe, uh, maybe this person was very obsessive, maybe very addicted. Um, or what is the word I'm trying to... <laughs> Um, this person possessive, this person could have been very possessive of you, you know, and I feel like you was very patient with this person, showed them a lot of uh, compassion. Um, and I, I think you persevered through a lot with this person. You know, I think you was very resilient in this situation, but I feel like at some point this tower had to happen. So maybe it was you going through this. Um, I feel like both of you are going through a transformation, but I feel like you might be the catalyst for this person's transformation. Hmm. Because they see you as this Ten of Cups or you are moving. Some of you are, um, somebody's coming back for a renewal, doing the work. Or you are headed towards your Ten of Cups, Two of Cups connection. So I see Ace of Pentacles here. I definitely see a lot of new beginnings for you, Pisces. I feel like you're, going, you're manifesting all of everything that you want. So um, I feel like you're going to be very prosperous. You're going to get a new financial opportunity. Um, some of you could be starting new businesses. Somebody create legacy for yourself. So I feel like you pouring into yourself. You know, I feel like you loving on yourself. And I feel like um, some of you, if this is somebody that um, was in your, um, that you had a separation from, I, I feel like you might be just walking away from this and finding a new soulmate. You know, but I feel like somebody definitely wants a renewal with you, but I'm not sure that some of you are going to be opening up to those possibilities. Some of you will, you know, but here your Ten of Pentacles is, you know, so somebody uh, is definitely headed towards uh, victory and success. I feel like you're going to successfully keep complete this journey. You know, again, somebody could be getting a windfall of money, like gifted some money, you know, manifesting a gift or receiving a gift from the universe. 
Um, some of you could have um, possibly lost someone that left you an inheritance. If that's the case, condolences um, to you and your family. Um, I feel like, you know, somebody could be in this, you know, like I said, wanting to be in this situation because they see you as abundant. They see you leveling up and somebody wants to stay for the finances. So I would be using my intuition in those situations. Six of Swords, because I see the universe is to... Uh, guiding you to uh, move to calmer waters and release old baggage, you know. I feel like the universe is telling you to accept, you know, the lessons you learned from this connection and move um, towards a new beginning. And like I said, some of you could be traveling or somebody that you was dealing with maybe lived at a distance from you and maybe this person was in this connection for um the finances i feel like somebody might have been um you know having some some un, some hidden motives here but i feel like you overcome a hardship some of you had a um were had a lot of obstacles in your finances i feel like you overcoming those hardships and you're gonna go, come into something that's gonna bring you wealth prosperity uh stability and um success so I feel like you embracing these new changes is going to um, give you your wish fulfillment. But the uh, you see this person is alone. It's talking about releasing old baggage. So I feel like you releasing anything, uh, people, places, and thing that's no longer serving you. Okay, and the will is turning into your um, uh, turning in your favor. Yeah. So I feel like you had to go through this major change. Like I said, maybe you had to do the shower to work. After a, a breakup, a major breakup or a major heartbreak. But I feel like the uh, universe is encouraging you to, to, to take this trip alone. And not take this person back. And go towards a new, new, something new. Yeah. Something that's more secure and stable. Because I feel like whoever this person was, was very uh, toxic and chaotic. You know, very, um, yeah. Kept you very emotionally unbalanced. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this person had a wild side. I feel like you was very patient with this person, but I feel like you're about to restore balance into your own life and you're about to call in a true soulmate, somebody who's going to give you um, emotional fulfillment. And this is going to be a very, um, a very um, passionate connection. Somebody's going to, you know. It's going to be a mutual attraction. This person is going to catch your, catch your heart like right off. Okay, so uh, Knight of Cups. I feel like you should follow your heart. Use your intuition in this situation. Everybody has free will, but the divine is definitely guiding you um, to do this alone so you can call in something better. They have something better for you. So um, I feel like... Um, you um like in this connection there's some things that you don't see this connection that, that, that this this tower you know something hidden from you you know this is this tower had to happen for this to elevate you to the highest version of yourself but you have gifts coming in that you are yet to be able to see so use your intuition make sure you are guarding your energy from anything that's going to have you in a low vibrational energy mm-hmm and and go you know and 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 uh, what's the word i'm stuck yeah <laughs> you know let your heart guide you um let your intuition guide you but also i feel like somebody is going to come in and try to sweep you off your feet you might be receiving a proposal from someone you know somebody might be um declaring their love for you somebody coming in as prince charming and this person going to be very uh creative when they come and it fell on this chaos so it could be this person returning but i feel like it's some secrets you don't know about them that they're keeping hidden i feel like this person is uh wearing a facade and i feel like this person could be still toxic that's why the spirits of uh, your angels are guiding you to do this on your own and leave this person behind this person comes with a lot of baggage and i don't feel like that they've done the shadow work i feel like this person um still has some work to do on themselves they keep a lot of secrets so use your intuition in this situation. Okay, you could be dealing with um, um, 
So this five of cups energy, I feel like this you, but you could be dealing with a, or another water sign, Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could be uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, the tower here is Aries, so that's Aries energy, Ten of Cups, we got a lot of cups here, somebody got a lot of love for you though, whoever this person is, they love you, but they just a hot mess, um, yeah, so we definitely got a lot of cups here, um, and that's the, the water signs, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I feel like you got a lot of love to give someone, mm -hmm. so I feel like that you following your heart, you know, or, and you make decisions based on your heart, but I feel like you need to uh, possibly start using, making head over heart decisions, you know, using your inner wisdom here. Um, could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. And then I feel like you and this Queen of Swords energy right now at the bottom of the deck, you know, I feel like you're very intelligent, a very high achiever. You're very independent very perceptive so i feel like you use your wisdom your inner wisdom your intuition in this situation and um you know i i, I would encourage you not to harbor any bitterness because you know the king of swords could have be bitter if they're in reverse or don't like to show their weakness but i feel like you set some healthy boundaries for yourself and um cut somebody off because they was not being responsible they were you know you were basically taking care of this person Mm -hmm. This person was very messy and chaotic, so I feel like you're doing the right thing for yourself. You're on the right path, and you're going to call in a true soulmate, somebody who's going to give you equal give and take, um, something that's uh, equal reciprocity. I feel like this connection you were in was very unrequited. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Okay. It says, I am compassionate. Nine, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping and... Uh, helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others your soul is most satisfied when you are being in service i feel like yeah that you you know had a lot of people around you or this person um uh, was taking advantage of you of your compassion they took your kindness for weakness um they knew you was very powerful but um they maybe you know kept you uh being you know like made you feel not confident about yourself you know Hmm. Maybe this person was kind of a narcissistic, narcissistic person. You know, this person kept you feeling miserable and unhappy. You know, and, you know, maybe they was very critical of you. Yeah. Maybe kept you emotionally, uh, kept you very emotionally crying all the time. Maybe said not so nice things. I feel like this person was very toxic. You know, maybe this was a karmic connection that was um, sent to you to help you learn how to love yourself. And I feel like you're doing just that, celebrating yourself, Pisces. So it says, I'm a pioneer, 19. Independence and self-sufficiency are um, necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. So, yeah, I feel like you're taking a risk right now because there it says rolling the dice. You're taking a risk and loving on yourself. You need this independence, and maybe this person, like I said, kept you isolated from your friends and family, um, you know, kept your finances messed up so you couldn't do anything, but I feel like you're releasing that heavy burden. I feel like it was overwhelming to you and very burdensome, and I feel like you used your intuition and cut that person off. It says, I'm a visionary, number 12. Creativity is a drive and forcing your life your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can't that can, others can benefit from yeah so i feel like you getting this new creative spark um loving on yourself like pouring into yourself you know being creative you know taking risks you know going on these new adventures now you're going to have a sense of freedom you know and you're gonna and you're gonna have financial freedom as well. But I feel like you're calling in everything, um, your all of your hopes, dreams, and desires. I feel like you manifesting everything you want. And um, I feel like you're being very optimistic, even though you went through this five of cups situation or this tower. I feel like you're still very optimistic. I feel like you're healing through all of that um, uh, tur turmoil, you know, all of that despair. And um, I feel like you went within and turned turned this. Uh, you transmuted this um, 
this hurt into power. You know, you you turned your pain into power. I feel like you are uh, you are a boss, and you about to uh, you about to get everything you deserve. I don't feel like this person brought you any happiness and was keeping you from being happy. Kept you very stagnant. So I feel like that's about to change. So oh, okay, I'm gonna take both of them. Hey, it says reflect on your priorities and uh, it says last quarter moon Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Aquarius have Aquarius highly aspect in your chart. So, you know, I feel like you need to, uh, you know, focus on your priorities, focus on your goals and, um, you know, go move forward with diligence, uh, determination, and you are going to be successful. And it says last quarter moon in Virgo. So it could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Attend to the details. Be mindful of the details. Use your intuition. You know, um, pay attention. Observe things around you. I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective with this person. And that's why this tower occurred. That's why you are pouring into yourself. And I feel like you use this high priestess energy to... Uh, to see things for what they really were, to see the bigger picture, and you decided to to focus on yourself. So, um, with this high priestess energy, it could be a cancer you're dealing with, um, but it's a lot of it's a lot of water out here. Mm hmm. So it could be definitely a water sign you're dealing with. Hmm. So that's what I have for you, um, Pisces. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.